Phil Ebener here with Video School Online, back with another Premiere Pro tutorial. In this one, you're going to learn how to create scrolling credits in the new versions of Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Let's dive right in. Here in Premiere Pro and in the next minute, you're going to learn how to create scrolling credits like this. And then I'm going to take it a step further and show you how to do some cool things like adding logos and images and also how to slow down your credits do a cool fade, pause, fade thing like that. So let's go ahead and in a new timeline or sequence, all you have to do is create a new text layer. So you can do that either with the type tool down here, press T on your keyboard to bring up the type tool. And we're going to be editing this in the essential graphics panel. So open that up by going up to window essential graphics. So if I just click here in my program window, type in credits, and then I want to actually take my selection tool and just click off of that title because with that title selected, I have all of my options for this graphic, uh, for this specific text layer. But if I click off of it, I'm still selecting this text graphic, but it's the general options for this sort of graphic layer. And you have this roll checkbox. So if I check that on, what happens is it creates a scrolling credit. So that's pretty much as simple as you need it. If you want just basic one credit going from the bottom to the top of the screen, that's all you have to do. To make it shorter or longer, just extend the length of this credit or this graphic or make it shorter. All right, so how do we add a bunch of titles to this? Well, this role option is going to apply to everything added to this graphic. So if we go in here and we actually go into this text box itself, we can add spaces, we can, you know, just add a bunch of credits. Okay, so I have a bunch of layers. And now if we go back and go from the start to the end, it goes from the bottom of the screen all the way to the top of the screen. Okay, so that's with that single credit. And so you could go in here, you could just create one text layer, you can organize it how you want. And what I recommend is if you want to do it a little bit easier, you can just copy and paste from a text editor, from Word, from whatever. I have all my credits here. And then I'm just going to paste it into this one text layer. And then you could use your different paragraph options like centering paragraph. We could center it to the frame itself. And now we have this text layer scrolling by. And then I can go in here like I did on this version and edit this text. Now, I'm not gonna go through exactly how I do that with all of these, but basically within here, we can make it all caps. We don't want it to be italicized. We can make it bold, et cetera. And you have to do that one at a time in this text box. The other cool thing is that we can add another text layer or image. So say we click this new layer button, maybe we want another text layer. So we're gonna click over to the side and we're just going to write hello. And we're going to make this a little bit bigger and we're gonna move it around right here. It's still going to scroll with all of these credits, okay? We can also do that with a logo. So that's what I did with my Video School Online logo with the new item button. From File, I'm going to choose my logo. It imports it, and now we can put this really anywhere. I want it to go below the copyright, and I'll just put it right there for now, and I'm going to center it. And so now if I play through these credits, oh, here's the new text layer. Actually, I added two new text layers. I'm going to delete that. Okay, so here we have our scrolling credits. We've got our hello text, and then we've got our logo. Cool, right? Okay, so this is actually gonna go over, it's a transparent, so if we want some video in the background, I can take my time-lapse video, extend this to basically the length of this clip, so it's a little bit slower. I'm also gonna drop the opacity of this time-lapse so we can see a little bit better the credits. Okay, so how did we create this sort of end effect where it stops there and then it fades out? Well, I kind of hacked my way in this. There might be another option. If anyone knows, please let me know in the comments. 
But the first thing I did was I wanted to make sure that I didn't have this end off screen. So I unchecked this because before it was going from off screen, which it is at the start, and then it's just ending. Well, it ends right there now, but before it was ending completely off screen. But I want this to be centered. So what I need to do is basically create another layer beneath these credits that will push these credits up. What I can do is actually just go into this main text layer, enter a few times, and I want to make it so the text is all the way off except for my logo. So I'm going to enter until the 2018 is off. And now I'm going to take my logo itself. Let's get to this logo layer, move it down, make sure we're centered. And so now it's going to roll. <laughs> I'm going to delete this hello text. I don't, I don't want that. Clear that. So now it's going to scroll and it's going to push everything up to right there. Okay, so that's basically the last frame. What I also want to do is ease out so that you have this ease in and ease out option and that will basically ramp up or ramp down the speed. So I'm just going to ease just like two seconds or so and that will just ease and slow the credits right at the end. Maybe a little bit more. Let's do five. See how it kind of slows there? That's pretty cool. All right, so that's great, but how do we keep this logo on here and then fade it out? Because right now, if I just extend this, what's actually happening is it's going to extend the length of the credits itself. So what I want to do first is actually make this a little bit shorter so I have some room over this video clip, so something like that. And then I'm going to duplicate this just by option clicking and dragging it up to the third layer, or you can just copy and paste it, copy, paste, put it up there. And what I want to do is I want to frame hold, which will basically freeze frame this last part of the credit, and then I could fade it out. But titles don't have a frame hold option. So what I'm going to do is nest this layer. So right click nest, you can rename it if you want. And now if I right click and choose frame hold options, I can add a frame hold to the out point. Okay, so now I have this frame hold and it's just basically a still image of this title card right here. So I want to put this at the end and fade it out. Now notice if I went like this and then I drag this end in, what happens is the end point changes. So the frame hold changes. So what I want to actually do is drag the beginning over to the right, like so, just like this. So we still have this at the very end. And now you can see if I play this, there's the end of our credit. And then it starts the frame hold. Now we can fade out the frame hold. Something like that. And then we can fade out our video as well. So it's moving a little bit fast. So I would go in here, tweak things, maybe change the font size and change the length, maybe get a different time lapse video for the end so it lasts a little bit longer. But that's really how you can create some cool scrolling credits in Premiere Pro, adding all sorts of things like logos, images, and doing this cool sort of fade out frame hold thing that I, I showed you how to do. If you have any questions, let me know and uh, yeah. Well, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel for more. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below in the comments. And if you're looking to take your skills to the next level, make sure you head over to videoschoolonline.com where we have premium courses, more free tutorials and articles, guides, and all kinds of stuff that will help you become a better creator. Thanks so much for watching and have a beautiful day.